Hello, everybody, and welcome to my review of Season 2, Episode 1 of Supergirl. Now on the CW, not on the CBS. So, what I've decided to also be doing, alongside all the other stuff I've been talking about, is to do episode reviews for all the superhero TV shows that I'm watching. And not all comic books, because I don't want to do that for The Walking Dead. I just want to enjoy that. I mean, I enjoy all the shows I'm saying. I don't want to do a review for that one. But, for all the shows on the CW, I'll be doing a review for it. Skipping episode 1 of Arrow and episode 1 of The Flash, because I already watched that, so I'm not going to do a review. I'm going to spend a week afterwards. But every single episode from here on forward, I will do a review for. It may not be on the same day, but I'll try to make it happen. But anyway, so Girl Season 2, episode 1. I have to say, it's a lot better in season one on CBS. I mean, probably my favorite episode of season one was the Flash crossover, but that's because the Flash was on it. And, you know, I just... I enjoyed the rest of the episodes afterwards. I felt like it was getting better. But still. But with this new season, I felt like it was a lot better. It being on the CW is really made it better. I don't know. I don't know if they have, the, I don't think they have the same exact writers because it felt a little bit different. It felt like they got some help. It helped make it better. Um, I also should mention how much I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate Superman. I hate him. I hate him with a passion. But on this TV show, which he is in episode one, I didn't mind him for two reasons. One, he doesn't seem as super mega powerful as he does in the movies and or TV shows. But he also has a personality that I actually like, you know? And it's just, I don't know, he's just better. He's not so perfect. And that's what really pisses me off about Superman. But this guy, I like him. And he's also not the main character. Supergirl is. But he's in it. I think I like Superman more when he's not the main character. Like, for example, the old Justice League cartoon. He was in it. But he wasn't the main character. So I liked him more in that. But he was still like the perfect goody tissue. So I still kind of hated him. But what did make me enjoy the show more was that there were some bad guys that even he needed other people's help for. I like when Superman is like, you know what? I I actually can't do this on my own because I'm not perfect. I actually need other people to help me. And, like, there would be things that would actually be beating up. Not like, you know, killing Superman by any means, but definitely, you know, give him a run for his money. And other people would need to help him. Not to say he couldn't defend himself, but he kind of would just be more on the defense if nobody would help him, he'd be stuck on defense like the whole time. Enough about that. We're talking about Supergirl. I felt like the um, I just felt like everything about this episode was a lot better than the previous season. Um, special effects are still kind of iffy for me, but I mean it's a TV show. I'll let it pass. Um, uh, Luna Luther is in the show. I don't know what's going on with her, but I'm interested to find out more. She's pretty hot too. But yeah. It's definitely, like, these reviews aren't supposed to be super in-depth because I'm going episode by episode. I think when I'm done with all the shows and I've seen all 22 episodes, then I will do, um, like a series review that's, like, more in-depth and stuff, you know? But this is just a episode by episode, so they'll be pretty short and sweet. Just give me a little bit of how I felt about it. And once the series is completely over, I'll give my full thought on the whole season as a whole. But, um, yeah, but that's pretty much all I wanted to say, guys. It's a lot better, and I'm looking forward to Supergirl. I'm looking really forward to more episodes. Uh, episode 7 of Supergirl on Legends of Tomorrow is a crossover, and episode 8 of Arrow and the Flash is the crossover. So, I can't wait to see that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Give a thumbs up, channel a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.